working. You know, once you build, once you, once you build a, a hole in the ground, <laughs> you dig a hole out of the ground, you put your experiment in it, then all these other people come out of the woodwork and say, well, I didn't contribute any money toward digging a hole in the ground, but I sure like to put my experiment on the ground, too, because it gets me away from cosmic rays on the surface. So sure enough, the guys we passed, that's a little um, uh, uh, dark matter search experiment. This is a, a special kind of bubble shaper. And it's, uh, it's literally, they, they're only, they're not using the neutrino. They're just over here because they're just here because 300 feet of rock doesn't cut down a lot of cosmic rays, but it does. It's better than being on the surface. So they're just in here to get away from cosmic rays. The silver box in front of our field detector um, is, is uh, we nicknamed it Pina after her. She is sort of a Goma. It has, it's, it's exposing emulsion, a type of detector called emulsion blocks in the neutrino field. Um, they're, they're actually part of the CERN to Grand Sasso neutrino experiment. So there's a neutrino experiment, similar kind of mean and neutrino experiment over in Europe. It's very similar to this one. They have a slightly different type of detector, um, one of their detector types. They're, they're looking for, in part, not just the muon neutrino disappearance, but also the appearance of tau neutrinos and these emulsion detectors. Like a film emulsion is one of the only ways you can detect the tau particles from tau neutrinos. Tau don't go very far in any material, so you have to have a very, very spatially sensitive detector. It will detect your particle you know, by a centimeter or two, which obviously inch thick of steel ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, so yes, there's other experiments. So, so dig a hole in the ground and people will come and look at it. Um, so we can take a walk around with the tank. Oh, 